So here I created simple WPF app one. And into this, this is a default window, main window. So for this application, we are going to implement MVVM design pattern. So first of all, what is mean by MVVM architecture pattern? So it is a separation of a front end and a back end coding. Our design will be a separate in a code behind. We are not going to write any code. So everything will be written identity classes in model and view model will be having a binding logic for our design and design will be in a separate. So for demonstration of this MVVM architecture pattern, we are going to create a few folders here in our solution, in our project. So right click on project and add three folders. Models. Let's say currently in this application, we are going to implement one such application which will demonstrate maximum feature of this MVVM architecture pattern. So let's consider we have multiple models. So we'll give the folder name as models. Another folder name, view models views yum vm will go in the sequence and another folder is view models okay. so models so let's say consider we for this example we will use a student uh, student database to show on the ui and the uh, four or five fields for the related to the students so go in the models and add a one class student So let's make this internal access specifier for this class. For this class, we'll add a few entities. Let's say roll number, name, marks, and address. Make the properties of integer roll number. Name. So now in the model, we're just creating an entity. So that this class is going to be an entity class. So close this one and go to the view models. And in the view models, add student data as a class. Student data. So in turn for this one. So now in this, uh, this is going to be our view model. So add a constructor class. And now the entity class which we created, we want to show on a UI. So we have to be created. We have to create a property of this entity data model of type of a student in observable collection. So create it. So this observable collection will be always a holding a changes value value changed in that particular collection. So what it is doing the dynamic data collection that provides the notifications when item gets changed, item gets added removed or when the whole list is refreshed so we are going to create a observable collection of a type of student so provide this type for this observable collection and we'll see here the property name as a students and then initialize the students property in the constructor with adding some data into it observable collection students so i'm initializing this observable collection with a few students new student and this is going to be uh, my first student here. So roll number, let's say one roll number for the first student and the name. So name of student, let's say Suresh. Then marks, marks will be, let's say 75%, 75.10% and uh, address. Let's say Kasturi Nagar. So this is going to be details of a new student which is added as a first student. So you can add multiple students. We'll add three, four students here. We can separate by comma or for each student. Let's say we are adding a five students here. So this is to be student two. This is going to be student three, four, and five. So Suresh, this will be Ramesh, this will be Omesh, this will be Omkar, this is Sandeep. Okay, so these are the some students and these staying roll number two, then 65%, and 85%, and 85%, let's say 80%. 
this uh, some different beta i'm just producing here and roll number one two three four five so each time it's image omkar sandeep and discuss three number rama murti nagar len nagar and shape nagar okay so all these students staying in the different, different locations so we just created a sample database okay, for this observable collection and this observable collection data which we are going to show on the ui so now our view model is also almost ready which we created okay so now this observable collection we created and initialize in this student data the student data is going to be our v model okay. this is student is our just a model okay now we'll close this student and uh, this view model student so now in the views in the views we are going to add as a student dashboard we'll add as a user control or a page let's add a page student dashboard and this is our view so we completed this model then view model and a, finally a view so in the views we added student dashboard now this student dashboard is going to be view okay for this view we are going to create a dashboard here let's say add a simple data grid here to show data of a student data grid and for this data grid we want to show a data grid in a binding format so we want to bind this data grid with uh, with the student data okay so before binding this item source from the view model we have to we have to link view model in this namespaces where the view model is present so import the namespace xml ns so this is the xml ns we have to use and we can give any name for this view to for our uh, this namespace so we just give view model for identification purpose equals to and then the to import namespace we have to write clr dash namespace wvf app 01 dot which is stored in the view models so take this view models okay so this is the namespace we imported for the view models and now in this page dot resources we have to give the reference of our v model class so in this page dot resources we are going to bind the resource of a view model so what we have given as a view model view model colon is student data this class is accessible for us now student data and key the object of it that is nothing but a key we'll say student data as a key for this name for this uh, <coughs> student class just built to uh, this error sometimes we have to build this immediately after binding this one okay so now now this this page resources is complete now in this grid provide the data context property data context and the data styles of static resources and this is nothing but a student data okay so now the student data is available here now we can bind item resources item uh, item source for this data grid item source property of this data grid and binding with the path of students this is nothing but our observable collection students is observable collection i can see immediately all the data which we have designed there it's appeared here so to just make it big size we'll just try to reduce this uh, size of um, each let's make it 400 let's make it 300 okay and height also we'll try to reduce this to 50 150 okay uh, 200 okay. and then just zoom for observation i can see here what we have done we have shown this data on the ui we haven't written any background logic for this page and all the data has been shown here so this roll number, name, marks, address, everything, because we have binded this student's observable collection to this data grid. And now if I run this, by default, main window will open and main window doesn't have any data. Okay, now come to main window, which is the last step for viewing this uh, data. We could have done this, this data binding with the main window directly, but we want to complete this MVVM phase. So we created uh, four, three folders and we added required details in each folders for models model added the view model we model added and the views we created on a dashboard page and this page we want to bind in the last step to the main window so now first of all go to the code behind of this main window and create object of this page uh, which page we created as a student dashboard so student student dashboard this is inside the views okay dashboard create property and 
initialize this student dashboard with new and now this dashboard content we want to bind to the data context property of this main window with the frame so we have to add one frame here to show this page frame and give the name object name to this frame student data frame and with this frame we want to bind what data we can provide some margin to this frame from each side and in this frame we want to show our page so just build it and go to the code behind and here for this frame student data frame dot content and provide this student dashboard as a content so this dashboard content we are going to bind to the main window and you just build now and run it so all the student data will be shown on this this frame you can see here now